worth it to come. Well, heck, free hotel room for four days, coming to an awesome convention, compensated, and meeting outstanding people, meeting people from across the nation, being selected out of 15 students. I mean, the list can go on and on. So if you got too much schoolwork and can't come to it, I'm sorry, but you're going to be missing out. Project Precast. We're hosting this for the very first time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's an integrated design competition sponsored by SICA and it includes 15 students led by five team mentors from CEG, Lombard Architectural Precast, Metromont, Spancrete, and Tyndall. The students will be given a design problem right after lunch today, which has been kept a secret from them all this time, but I'm gonna reveal what it is to them right now. It's a horse barn. I'm a little bit stressed, not gonna lie, but I'm really excited, happy to be here. Right now, I'm just laying out the whole schedule from hour to hour of what we need to do as a team, whiteboarding our ideas, our concepts, what we're doing that other teams aren't going to be doing, how we should present this, what we need to focus on. Think about something that's more standardized like that, but it'll be more interesting than that. This is a big one because of energy efficiency. Yeah. Delightfully surprised that at, at the interest uh, in this program, I like raw concrete a lot. I just think it's a beautiful material. On this side, I think we need like a weatherproofing, yeah. waterproofing, like membrane. Oh, yeah. You know, these materials that by themselves are nearly useless and put them together and it's this extremely high performing, high strength, beautiful, you can literally do anything with it. I was extremely impressed that as soon as we were off to the races, that pens were hitting paper on the tables. Renderings I can work into the evening in regards. Students were abuzz with energy, saw everyone get to work right away, already seeking advice from the mentors in the program. So we have three inches of insulation, okay. sandwiched between yeah, yeah, yeah. three inches of concrete. We found a number of years ago that universities were not teaching about precast concrete. And for us as an industry, obviously that's a very, uh, that's a threat. You can do a colored concrete with wood grain texture. Architects. When they design, they default to what they know best. If they're not comfortable with precast, they're not going to use precast in the design, even if it is the optimum material to use for the project. Precast is the future, 3D printing is the future. If you want to be successful in the future, these are the type of methods that will work. You've got to have the education for the students, they have to know it exists, and then you have to keep doing these kinds of events. Literally with precast, you can design whatever you want and it can come out. It's 9.20 in the morning, slept about 30 minutes last night, did a lot of catching up in regards to uh, pushing the project forward. The team really came together over the past 12 hours and we've turned out a lot of really good work. Um, each team brought a unique uh, perspective to solving the concrete problem and the design challenges. So uh, the judges are going to have a really difficult time choosing. The big winner of Project Precast 2019 is Team Tyndall. Shock? Yes. Surprise? A lot of feelings right now. <laughs> we just won. Yeah. We just did it. I think we proposed a really difficult challenge in that we like a curved structure, curved concrete panels. Perhaps that's what the judges valued. It was really hard. I expect it to be a challenge, but this was really, really hard to pull off. And all of the teams, like the amount of work that all of, you, all of these students have produced in mm -hmm. such a short amount of time, like, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Everything paid off at the end. It was a great experience, great team. I learned so much from them. 